All right, we're back. What are we doing today, kids? We're cutting up fiberglass rebar, which I have never actually done before. Uh, it's kind of interesting. What do, you, what do you think so far, uh, mystery man? Well, it's lighter and stronger. It's lighter and stronger than standard rebar. Well, we got some standard rebar here because uh, the one downfall is this stuff's really hard to bend, i.e. you can't bend it. <laughs> you can't bend it. So we got we got a couple pieces of five eighths in here because for uh, a certain application, and we got some we got some half inch. Uh, that'll be for bends and for things that I think I might need to I'd be able to adjust a little bit because it's really hard to adjust this. I think potentially I don't know. I've never used this this kind of stuff before. This is a uh, like a fiberglass. This is it's a fiberglass re rod. It's actually three eighths in diameter, equivalent to a half inch steel. And this is what I like about it so far. You wanna hold that for a second. Sure. We're running. I gotta cut some lengths here. Thanks. About, I mean, I could probably do more. I don't want to go all ape shitty and get all crazy. You got me in frame here, real good. We got the thin, the thin blade on just an El Cheapo. I've got my safety gear on. I've got my face mask, my mask, all gloves, everything. Do do that. Mark. Now, I don't know how much rebar you've cut in your life, but I've cut a lot. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first started cutting rebar, I used a hacksaw. That's when I was a child, I cut rebar with hacksaw. And I determined that was so much goddamn work. I begged to get a power tool. And we used kind of a grinder. And what you do, you'd grind about, oh, approximately halfway through a piece of mile, uh, oh, not mile steel, but a piece of whatever this is, steel. And then you'd snap it. I just cut the whole basement of verticals in, we'll be at this, five minutes? Like that was a day and a half's worth of work. And it's done. I'm done. Like we were sitting here humming, humming and hawing. Well, if I want to start it, because it's going to be hot out today, you know, the sun's coming around the trees. We only got about an hour till we're in the sun. We're done. And that's blowing my goddamn mind right now. Is that blowing your mind a little bit? Sure. This, this, this guy has been building houses, we'll just say a half, a half a century. It's actually longer, but he's been building houses for at least a half a century. He ain't never seen no shit like this either. Is this literally blowing your mind? It's blowing my mind. That's, that's all the verticals done, like, or most of them anyways. Like, that's crazy. Welcome to the future, kids. Like, holy shit. Well, that's not true. I still have to cut you got that those left, the ones that fell down. That's another four minutes. Yeah, 30 seconds. I cut it safe. I would have just cut that all in one shot, but I was trying to be safe for YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. The rest of this is all horizontal. This gets chopped up, but I got a rebar chopper for that. Just like a manual clink, clink. I'm just a little leery about putting these in the in the vertical position in case, like steel, if I get it in the way of something, I can hit it with a hammer and bend it and get it back vertical again to tie into. I don't know how to do that, so we decided we'd do the steel out of the footing. That may be wrong. I don't know if that's what we're doing, so. All right. Just a short video. Oh, yeah, the Harbor Freight uh, Sawhorses. Coming up big. We bought them just to have some shit just in case. They, they're, they're ready for 350. So far, they're working perfect. I don't expect great things out of them, but better than working in the gravel. 12 bucks a pop, something like that. I don't remember. Cheap cheap nuggets. They fold up small. That was a nice thing. They fold up flat and you can throw them in your truck. I guess if they break, we'll just get new ones or something. But all right. That's the end of that. Let's get in here tight so you can see it. It's like, it's got, they got a granular on them or something. Like, oh, it's the other crazy thing. The dude that helped us load this on, a maniac. And he was going full maniac loading this stuff. He'd grab a pile and he'd run like a bull. I was like, dude, I'll help you. And I was like, I almost, I fell over one time. He was pulling so, like, I've never seen him like it in my life. I think he was trying to impress the guard girl at the guard shack. She was kind of cute, so he was working extra hard for her. But whatever. This will just be a short one here. But, yeah, we found some shade. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of brutal. So we're getting this taken care of early. All right. Enjoy your rebar.